In this particular case, on a Pick Your Poison Friday, you can battle anyone on the show, and that includes the very emotional Jake the Nerd, DJ Omar Khan. You can take on Ali. You could take on Postmaster Johnny, the handsome dummy, or perhaps you'd like to battle Vanessa, who's currently in Colombia, we believe, probably in a bathtub with her organs being harvested. Yeah, but we'd have to call her to find out. We'd have to call her, and, uh, you know, she's interesting, because she's one of these people that put on the out-of-office... Uh, yes, email. I know, but she's not. She's. I hate the people that do that. They put it's on like the, she does. She does this aggressive. I'm out of the office, but then she was responding to responds. all of her emails, right. and I'm like, "What are you doing? Go enjoy Columbia. Yeah. What are you doing?" This whole uh, out of office get a response from that back. Uh, I will be away from my computer. I'm leaving the country. I'll probably never return. And then followed by three seconds later, yes, I'm looking into it. I'll get to you right away. <laughs> exactly. So let's, confusing. Let's uh, let's say hi to Jared in Long Beach who would like a shot at a hundred bucks of Ali's money. And I don't blame you. It's not a lot of money, but it's something. And Jared, welcome to Alley Knows the News. How goes it? Going good. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. Who would you like to battle in this exciting Friday? Pick your poison edition. You can battle anyone on the show. Uh, I want Johnny, the postmaster. Uh, he is a real dummy, that guy. Win $100 so you can buy booze. Let's find out if Allie knows the news. So Ali will leave the studio and Johnny will enter the studio as soon as you do your five questions. In the studio, the K-Rock studio, someone's got to know the news. Yum, bum, boy. Oh, wow. A wing away. A wing Beautiful song. <laughs> what a right, throwback. What a song. Thank you. You can so, always leave your DIY theme songs on the goat line if you dare. 844 956 GOAT. Did you still say I need to leave the studio? Yes. That was Why? a personal preference. Personal preference. <laughs> I don't stink. I showered last night. Uh, you can sit the right people on you YouTube are. requested it. Yeah, the people. God the, damn it! <laughs> uh, get out of here. The people, you can see that. The people watching the stream have asked for you to please leave the camera frame, and I understand why. Uh, all right, Jared, hold on. Let's get into your round. Johnny is sequestered in the back. He can no longer hear these questions. Answer them quickly, confidently, and accurately, and you're more than welcome to play along. Let's see how you would have done had you been playing for a hundred dollars right now. Jared's round of Ali knows the news. The Johnny edition starts right. Now, Allie knows the news. This troubled celebrity's Beverly Hills mansion is not selling because potential buyers find it, quote, icky and overpriced. Ooh, let's go with uh, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. We go to question number two. Build a Bear is now collabing with this other animal. For a new workshop experience in Los Angeles. Another chance to rip you off by charging you more if you want to put a heartbeat or a smell in your kid's bear or whatever it is. Who is uh, Build a Bear collabing with now? Uh, they're going with the elephant. The just going elephants? with the general elef all elephants? All elephants in general? Yeah, you all said right. animal. I'm going with elephants. All you right. know who we should collab with? Elephants. Elephants. They're all the rage. <laughs> we could charge more because they're bigger. Question number three. Due to the mountain fire, a ban on this has been issued. What are, What is no longer allowed anywhere near the mountain fire? Mm, alcohol. Question number four. You, you will now be able to order and be served this at Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy Edge for the first time. Mm. Beer. And finally, a man by the name of Elwood Edwards died at the age of 74. Elwood Edwards is responsible for a three-word phrase that every single person knows, iconic phrase. What is the three-word phrase that this man is responsible for that just died? Oh, yeah. I got nothing. You got nothing. I got nothing. That's a great guess. That's I three got nothing. That's a great, uh, great <laughs> guess. All right, let's uh, hold on one Johnny second. Johnny will know that last question. Johnny will not. Well, I don't know. I feel like it's been made fun of enough in Family Guy over the years that maybe he would. But also, it was don't, everywhere. Don't say anything else. Hold on. Like, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny's entering the studio now. Yeah, but hey, Johnny, Johnny wasn't allowed to watch Family Guy. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. He was not allowed to. But, he's, but you watch it now, right? No, I didn't even watch it now. It's too oh. silly. You're afraid you're going to get in trouble? I oh feel my God, how too, is that silly? too silly. Too silly, and it's, SpongeBob is not. It's too raunchy, and it's like, bro, these are cartoons like with adult oh jokes. My it's so weird, bro. It's, I, saw, oh. I saw this meme the other day, and it said, How is it that the generation that is the most offended by everything is the generation that was raised on South Park and Family Guy? Yes. And they, I and watch they, that. And, but of course, Johnny didn't get that. All right, here we go. Question number one, Johnny. Mm -hmm. let's, let's see how you do. You're battling Jared right now. It's Allie's money up for grabs. This troubled celebrity's Beverly Hills mansion is not selling because uh, potential buyers find it, quote, icky and overpriced. 
You said icky. That rhymes with sticky. So I'm going P. Diddy. <laughs> All right, Diddy. I like how you got there. He guessed uh, Ricky Jervis, but the correct answer is Diddy. Diddy's Beverly Hills Mansion. If you're looking for one, it's not selling. You can go ahead and throw, throw in a nice low ball offer. I love how the Matthew Perry one is like, yep, sold. No problems. Yeah, they got no problem but with the Perry the one. But the Diddy one, they're like, eh, I don't know, the baby oil's weird. <laughs> Question two. Johnny's up one nothing. Bill the Bear is now collabing with this other animal with a new workshop experience in L.A. Bill the uh, Bear. Not a bear, because you just said bear. So it's got to be something Process else. of elimination, he's eliminating bear. This guy's a genius. You have so many other animals to go through to eliminate. Which uh, animal is Bill the Bear collabing with for a special workshop experience in L.A.? Panda bear. So you went with bear. Oh, After bear. your whole... <laughs> what just happened well, not, here? Not, After not, your uh, whole Is this the Twilight Zone? Are not, you for real right now? Talk, normal you, bear. You no. talked yourself out of bear and then landed on bear. Yeah, because uh, weren't panda bears like in the news recently and Allie doesn't like them, so like panda bears... Okay, well, that that's shockingly not right. He guessed okay. elephant. At least he gave us a different animal. But the correct answer is kitty, specifically Hello Kitty. It's a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty experience uh, that's to not celebrate even a bear. 50 years. Yeah. No, it's not a it's bear. It's not a bear. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. We never said it we, was. We, said, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say collapsing with this bear. Goddamn, Johnny is... <laughs> Am I going to have to give this guy $100? You may have to. Just, just, might. just putting just up might. a desk. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, we uh, go to question number three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Question number three. Due to the mountain We're fire. Only three? Due, yeah. to, due to the mountain fire, a ban on this has been issued. What has now been banned because of the mountain fire, which keeps on spreading? Uh, grills? Portable Gary Coleman grills? Gary Coleman grills. <laughs> grills? <laughs> what was the guy's name? It was the it was the what was his name? Are you thinking of George Foreman? Yes. Yeah, why'd you what? give it to him? Yeah. What was Damn it, Allie. <laughs> Gary Coleman Grills. That was somehow tra- somehow yeah. that's incredibly racist. I don't know why, no, but it is. No, that's his name in the show, Gary Coleman. All right. Uh, the correct answer is, well, he's not totally wrong, actually. It's any wood burning at all. What did I so, tell you? What did I tell you? I don't think I'm going to accept that. The grills don't have wood. Yeah, I'm not going to accept that, yeah. but it's wood burning. You were close. Uh, no I'm... one gets the point on that. Johnny's still up by one shock. Hey, by the way, Jared, I hate to break this to you, but Johnny is still up by one after you've heard such idiot. I mean, you've heard really the biggest idiot speaking. Here we go. Question number four. You will now be able to be served and order this at Disneyland Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Uh, is this the little Wookiee bucket that you can get? The little Chewbacca Wookiee bucket? Mm-hmm. All right. He said beer, so he's on the board. It's alcohol now available, so you can now start drinking booze. So that's good. Right. Not a Wookiee bucket. And we go to question number five. It's all tied up. One question left. Elwood Edwards died at the age of 74. Now, this man has one of the most famous three-word phrases in the history of the English language. Everyone knows it. What was he responsible for saying? This is the death of Elwood Edwards, died at 74 yesterday. What was his three-word phrase that everybody knows? What song did he sing? I didn't say song. Oh, my God. He said three-word phrase. Three-word three phrase. Three-word phrase. The only three words I could think of is like, yes, we can. But that's like Cesar Chavez's thing, I think. Nope. It's Rosie the River. Rose- yeah. Oh my God. No, Cesar Chavez said, "Yes, we can." Too. Okay. Is, is that what you're gonna go si with? Si se puede. Yeah, that's the English translation. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> don't, 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 just, just don't. Johnny, do you have an answer? Yes or no? Uh, Elroy James. The amount of people that have Elroy hit their the amount of people that have hit their head while watching this right now on the uh, live stream. It's just a lot oh of people God. slapping I their own just face. Hundred dollars to end it. Yeah, the chat's going strong right now. All right, go, Johnny. Forget about the chat for a moment. Yeah. Okay. Can you please give me this answer? Three word phrase. Three word phrase. I don't know. <laughs> well said. All right. The correct answer. No one got that run right. Is uh, you've got mail. You've got. That's the computer that says that. No, that's yeah, Gmail, dude. That's, that's not that's Gmail. Not Gmail. It's AOL, and, and it that was this. Person. That was this guy originally who said it. This wow. was the guy. I never know that. You've got mail. I never heard that. All right. Well, there you go. Jared, I don't know how to say this nicely, but you tied Johnny one one after all of that. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, great. And unfortunately, you must now shamefully admit something over the airwaves of K Rock because ties go to the house and Allie keeps her money, at least for now. Welcome. Uh, you. You've got here? mail. Hey, there he is. All right, thanks, buddy. Thanks for starting your day with us. Wow, that was something. It was an, ed- something. an educational program, for sure.
Actually, I'm going to play you a message after this song that I think will so eloquently sum up what we just experienced together. We know you didn't ask for these videos, but you're watching them anyway, which means you truly have nothing better to do. Yeah. So let this be a moment where we tell you to get your life in check. Maybe you're still listening, or maybe you've completely checked out, or you're pretending to work at your desk right now. For whatever reason, thanks for watching, and we hope you watch more. Yeah, and if you're supposed to be doing a different job right now, this is your friendly reminder to shuffle some papers and act annoyed and do things where you go like, oh, God, I'll get to this eventually, because that's what business people do. <laughs> is that what you think business people do? I assume so. I've never had a real job. All right, so click like, subscribe to this or the podcast, or you can listen to the live show where you can't see our faces, and trust me, that's a bonus. That's right, because this is what we also look like on the radio. <laughs> we don't look different.